Hey guys, today will be an epic video. Get yourself ready for it because today we are comparing five head and P rackets in five different categories and in the end I will crown my winner. I will exclude the head precision P because the specs suggest it is a very different racket to the other one and it will not be a comparison if we include this racket. So ladies and gents, without further ado, let's head in this racket battle. Hold on to your seats because this racket face-off is on a whole new level. To maintain order, let's start by ranking each racket from the worst to the best in each category. The last in the spin game among the MP line is the radical, sporting the smallest head of the bunch, which naturally translates to lower spin potential. Right behind is the gravity MP, known for its slow stiffness and the 16x20 string pattern, making it the fourth best in the group of MP rackets. Stepping up, the head speed MP takes the third place, delivering more spin than the gravity and the radical, though not overwhelmingly so. Now here's where things get intriguing. My unconventional view places the extreme MP at second. I argue that the MP boom edges out the extreme in terms of overall spin potential. The boom's slightly higher launch angle and head shape contribute to this verdict. What's your take on this? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. Now, let's talk about power. We're starting with the least powerhouse of the bunch. In a tight race, the Gravity MP emerges as the least powerful among these five heavy hitters. Its overall specs align with this ranking. I know you might be wondering, but hear me out. Surprisingly, the Speed MP comes across as less powerful than a Radical MP. My hunch is that the stiffness of the Speed Racket plays a role here. The Radical is easier to swing and the smaller head size gives it a slight edge, even though the difference is subtle. Next up, the Boom MP claims the second spot in the power department. While it holds its own, it falls short compared to the undisputed power champ of the group, the Extreme MP. And if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to hit that like button. Now let's dive into control. In the realm of control a familiar pattern emerges, mirroring the field category to some extent. Predictably, the Extreme MP takes the last spot when it comes to control. Its thick beam and high stiffness give it power at the cost of control, although spin can help to mitigate that. Next, we have the Speed MP, which offers improved control compared to the Extreme, thanks to its thinner beam and lower stiffness. However, it falls short when competed against the top three contenders. The Boom MP claims the third place in terms of control, showcasing impressive precision, though it can't quite outshine the top two rackets. Here is what it gets interesting. The Radical and the Gravity MP seem to dance in tandem when it comes to control. While distinct in their own right, the outcome is remarkably similar. The Radical capitalizes on its smaller head size and thinner beam, while the Gravity MP's lower stiffness and unique string pattern of 6 and 20 contribute to its control abilities. As a result, we're calling this category a tie. Now, let's shift gears and delve into the realm of feel. When it comes to feel, the Extreme MP finds itself at the bottom of the list. I personally found its feedback quite frustrating with balls shooting off uncontrollably. Moving along, the Head Radical secures the third spot in the field category, giving the Boom MP a run for its money. These two rackets offer a distinct sensation. The Radical feeling slightly stiffer while the Beam excels in ball pocketing and feedback. Yet no contender holds a candle to the Gravity and Peace feel, it's a league of its own, seamlessly planning forgiveness and tactile feedback. Without a shadow of a doubt, the Gravity MP takes the crown in this department. Feel free to drop a comment below and let me know which racket you would go for. Comfort is the name of the game in this segment. In terms of comfort, the three rackets at the bottom of the list are the Radical MP, Speed MP and the Extreme MP. Why you ask? Well, the Extreme MP may be the stiffest, but its larger head size lends it some forgiveness. 
Meanwhile, the Radical MP with its smaller sweet spot rivals the Extreme MP's stiffness. As for the Speed MP, it gave me some arm troubles, particularly when the sweet spot wasn't met. Claiming the second spot in comfort is the Head Boom MP. Thanks to its unique head shape and enhanced forgiveness, it's a joy to wield on the court. There's not much more to add here, it is simply a comfortable contender. And now, the grand victor in the comfort department is the Gravity MP. The perfect blend of low stiffness, teardrop head shape and swing weight propels the Gravity MP to unparalleled comfort. Now that we have dissected each category, we are heading into the winner of this racket battle because every racket has its charm, but there is only one winner. And in my opinion, this racket battle wins the head, boom, and peak. And make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And if you're interested, watch this video next.